Hey Patreons, thank you as always for your support. I'm very, very grateful. Today we're doing something that starts off easy. It's just the vamp, the E minor, B7. Very, very simple pair of chords. However, like anything on the guitar, done well with a bit of creativity and a few different techniques that we've collected over our time playing guitar, we can do really cool things with it. So that's what we're doing today. I won't retread what we learned on YouTube, we'll just delve a little bit more into it. The first thing, for example, E minor is one of my favorite keys and most guitarists will agree because we have two open E strings on the guitar, but we've also got the G, B and E, so think like nothing else matters Metallica. Definitely one of the most iconic guitar parts ever, simply played with the open strings. And actually, those open strings make an E minor chord, if you didn't know, so the notes are E, G, B, E. E, G, B, that's E minor. So we can use our open strings, and that's why guitarists love to play an E minor. So for example, I might play the E minor chord just as normal, although I just use my pinky. I have a very... I have a, I let my right pinky nail be about two or three millimeters longer than it should be, just just enough to get that scraping sound. Some Spanish guitarists have long fingers on all their nails. I'm not really willing to go there, and I can get enough guitar sounds that I like without it. So my nails are normal; they actually need a trim. Except my right hand pinky, a couple extra millimeters, just enough to go. So that's fun, and that might be a tip for you, I guess. After we do that. I'll play along the E string just like we discussed, but I use the open low E string as well. You can either take turns so you can go like low, high, low, high. My thumb is just plucking that low E string in between high E string melodies. I'll tab this out for you as well. But that's alternating. So we do the thumb, then we do the high string, then we do the thumb, and we do the high string. That's a cool technique. The other one I do is when you do them both at the same time, I find this one makes it sound a bit more frantic, a bit more intense. It kind of sounds like you're in a rush and that low string is giving a real, a real urgency. So there's two very basic options alternating low high or playing them both together with the open low E string. Now we don't have an open B string. I suppose you could easily and maybe, maybe one of us should, if not you, me, or if not me, you, maybe someone out there should tune their, you know what, let's do it now just for a bit of fun. This is something new. I'm gonna tune the A string to a B note so we can use an open B string. I've never done this before. And it's very rare to tune guitar strings up. People usually tune them down. But that's, um, you know, Patreon is supposed to be kind of advanced, a bit more deep, a bit more interesting. So let's do something together. I've never done this before. I've tuned my guitar, standard tuning, except the A string. What was the A string? It's now a B string. Now, if I wanted to play an E minor chord, I can't use my old fingering. I've just changed my tuning. So I'm just going to, the E minor chord would now just be a single finger. And because that's a B string, the B7 chord would be, it's actually easier than before. So the B7 chord doesn't need the second fret anymore. You can let the A string ring open because the A string is now a B string. And we can do the same kind of idea. And that sounds pretty cool. So that's um that's something new. We can tune the A to the B. So we've got an E and a B. It's almost like an open E kind of tuning. So I'll leave that concept with you. You can explore that further at your own uh, pace. Or you may be interested. You may not. I will definitely be going back to that because I feel that that's useful and relevant. But let's go back to standard tuning now. The other benefit of standard tuning is, of course, that we can talk about this, but we can do these things in other keys. So, I 
was going to talk to you about just fretting that second fret note, the B note, the root note of the B7. We can definitely still get some good mileage out of playing. We just have to fret that low B, but you can still do the 0, 1, 4. Just like we did with the E, just a bit of fretting. And it's just a choice between playing them at the same time or alternating. Both, um, both are good options. So the chords we've always played low up until this point, but there's no reason we can't go E minor. The seventh fret B7. squared or technique, that kind of fan is not strictly Spanish, I believe they go backwards, so they'll do like the ring finger first. I go first finger, second, third. First, second, third, down, down, down. And then what I do, and this is also not correct technique, it's just how I do it. I just do the first finger very quick up and down. There are much better Spanish guitarists that do this much better than me. This is just my own technique. And if you've been kind enough to support me here on Patreon or watch my YouTube channel, I'm sharing with you how I do things, not necessarily conventional. And I'll always admit to you, if I don't think I'm good at something or if I'm not doing something, probably how you should do it. And that's how I do it. That's a lot of fun there. Arpeggiating, so just two chords. So many great songs are just two chords. Um, one that springs to mind, America, Horse With No Name. I think that's just kind of... It's an E minor D, but they're both slightly funkier. There's like an E minor 9 or something like that. great songs that just have the two chords so you can definitely one of my favorite finger picking techniques is just low thumb high finger so you just go thumb finger thumb finger thumb fi I'm basically choosing the notes at random I'm fretting the chord basically choosing the notes at random and the thumb occupies mainly the low strings and the high finger occupies mainly the higher strings Sounds kind of cool, I reckon. It's just thumb, finger, thumb, finger. And I'm just jumping across the strings as I said, at random. I couldn't tell you exactly what strings I'm plucking. Just having fun being in that pattern and being in that groove. If I want to add a bit of drama, I'll rake the thumb. The thumb goes all across multiple strings. bit there between YouTube and this you've got heaps of stuff to practice. I personally will definitely be tuning my A string back up to a B and I'm going to be playing around with that again because that was something new and something interesting. Thank you as always for being Patreon supporters. I'm super grateful. It would be impossible I think or very very close to impossible to tab every note that we played today but I'll definitely tab out the basic structures of the basic concepts and I'll give you shapes that you can go and play like always, we chop and change, we improvise, we play upside down, we play back to front, we use the capo, we don't use the capo, we use different tunings. This is just a guideline and this is just a starting point for each of you to go off in your own musical direction, just like I'll be going off in my own musical direction today with this concept by uh, doing the tuning thing that we talked about. I thank you for your support. Get in touch, comment, message. That's what we're all here for and it's a cool little community we've got here and I'm grateful to every single one of you. Thank you so much.